terrible 14 hour flight um i slept on and off i would say half of the flight i edited an entire vlog edited a sponsorship edited half of another vlog watched a couple shows didn't watch any movies i downloaded a bunch of movies but didn't watch it the flight was very nice very smooth we have polaris which y'all saw the seats are like beds like your own little i was gonna say bungalow it's like your own little capsule but yeah the Polaris definitely made it sweet because I don't think I could have done that. 14 hours in the regular seat, baby, kill me. And then we are going into town, going to our hotel, and I'll pick you guys back up later, but yeah, it's in Tokyo. I haven't really been vlogging, y'all. We rode the train and everything. I didn't vlog that because I was sleeping. But we just met to our hotel. We're staying at Agari Hotel. It smells good in here. Is the fragrance the Bagari? Yes, it yeah. is. Am I pronouncing yeah. that correct? It's shop in Barcelona, uh, Lobby Lounge, and we have uh, Sushi Poseki, which is Sushi Restaurant. Welcome, have you had a time? This is Lobby Lounge, and that restaurant is our East Italian restaurant, Nicolo Mito. Here is spa. The gym is 24 hour. And the spa area is from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. and the last entrance is 9 p.m. Oh, vibe, it's so vibey. <laughs> Are we gonna go? Are we gonna see it? Can Are we gonna look at it? Or no? Oh. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Oh, okay, the shower's in here. I'm about to say what? And oh, well, hello. <laughs> Child, Bulgari Hotel. There, she told us there's only eight Bulgari hotels in the world, and they'll be in the United States next year. They're building one in LA and one in Miami. This ain't Vegas, baby. <laughs> We're about to go to the spa. Yeah, hopefully we make it enough time. It's eight o'clock. Oh, shoot. They said the last guest entry is at nine, but they close at 10, so that's what we're going to do. I'm wearing a bikini that is probably two sizes too small. Do you want another drink? Sure. Do you think we would need ID or anything? No, right? I can just bring my phone. Coke and whiskey. Who am I? Mm -mm -mm. Becky. Becky? <laughs> Come here for a sec. Okay. Spa elevator. 
this hotel is like so like baby the elevators don't look like real elevators even the doors aren't like look at this is the door to a, a room y'all see that Thank you. I didn't stay in some five star hotels, but this, this is different. Bagari, I might need to buy me some Bagari jewelry, a Bagari watch, like, this is different, bitch. Look at that. Y'all see that? I need, a, I need a picture in my bikini in front of that. This is not. We got the free waters in here. We got cold waters there. Room temperature water there. What's this? A newspaper? A Bulgari newspaper? Happy Valentine's Day. I hope everybody's having a great Valentine's Day because I am. You got to the other end quick. Huh? Because you got to the other end quick. Did you swim or walk? <laughs> We're in the hot tub now. It's Um, we woke up around 6.30 a.m. Tokyo time. Right now it is 9 a.m. Tokyo time. I don't need to say Tokyo time. Yeah, I know I'm in Tokyo. Yeah, that's the time. I just keep getting it confused because I keep having to look back and forth. Like I'm checking on the kids. They just got out of school probably like an hour or two ago. Yeah, we're about to get ready for the day. I didn't, I didn't really give y'all an in-depth tour. There was really not much to see y'all. The jet lag got me so bad. Do you understand? My lips are dry, hold on. That jet lag was a bitch. And it's so crazy. On the plane, it was like we never flew into nighttime. So our flight was in the morning at 10 a.m. Houston time, and then we landed in Tokyo 3 p.m. their time. It's just weird. Time zones are so weird. Like, how were we on a plane for 14 hours and the sun was shining the entire time? It was just weird. Anyway, you j I just thought we would maybe fly through an area where it was nighttime maybe? But I guess if the sun is up in one area, the sun will be up. No, it won't be, no. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So this is east, cause we're Things that make you go, hmm. Anyways, like I was saying, if you guys do come to Tokyo, maybe because this is a brand, brand new hotel, I'm not really sure, um, you don't have to worry about bringing a converter. So all of the plugs in our room, they take regular American plugs. I got scared when I thought about it. As soon as I got on the airplane, I said the one thing I forgot was my converter. And I have one. One thing I forgot. And then this room, every, every plug is universal. So that's cool um we are not staying in this hotel another night we just did one night just for valentine's day that is it <laughs> this hotel is eighteen hundred dollars a night y'all eighteen hundred 
$1,800 a night. So we will be going to another hotel, which will still be a nice hotel, but it ain't no $1,800 a night hotel. He was looking at some as soon as we woke up this morning. He, he said he found one that's like a $2,000 hotel, which is insane a $2,000 hotel, but they have some like special going on. And I'm still like, but that's still not like a good, it's still is like, what? It's a special, but it's, I don't know. Anyway, that ain't my concern. That ain't my worry. <laughs> well, he says, let's go, let's go. Um, What else did I tell you? I have a video uploading because I have to put out a video tomorrow, which is really like tonight. No, if I put it out, 4 p.m. Houston time, I think I would just need to wake up early, early tomorrow, like around 6 a.m. again to release the video or just have it go out on its own. I don't know. I figured that out. That's just work shit. But yes, we are having an amazing time. I'm about to get dressed. He did bring one of my Valentine's Day gifts here. I got one back in Houston that he gave me like two days before Valentine's Day. And then he gave me another gift today for, well, today is, Val it's, it's just so weird. Like today is Valentine's Day back home. So I keep saying it's Valentine's Day, but Tokyo officially, it's really, today is really the 15th, but we really didn't celebrate it. We were so tired, so jet lagged. So like, yeah. So anyways, ordered food last night. We did not go out. The food, I almost threw up y'all. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I almost threw up. So he tried to order like the safest thing that he thought that we would both like. One of them was a steak sandwich, a prime rib sandwich. And if y'all ever had prime rib, prime rib is one of those that's not, to me, cooked all the way. The middle is like red and chewy. That was terrible. Then the other was a burger. Y'all. But it was called a chopped beef, diced beef burger, something like that diced beef sandwich, but it was a burger. It was ground beef in the shape of a burger patty, but it was deep fried. That is what made me lose my gag reflexes. I literally, we are laying in bed right here. I, it was terrible. So I have not eaten anything since the airplane yesterday. I mean, we had like our fruit and little candy and snacks they, are, they had in the room, but food wise, no. I took one bite of that prime roll sandwich and it was like a little baby toddler bite. And then the other bite I spit out. I have not eaten in over 12 hours. So anyway, we're going off juice and vibes. So I'm about to get ready for the day. I think I might wear my Valentine's Day outfit today. I had a whole pink outfit that I planned on wearing yesterday. I don't know why I really thought the jet lag wasn't gonna get to me. I'm like, I'm a soldier. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna sleep the entire plane ride. When I get there, when I land, I'm gonna be good, bitch. <laughs> my body said otherwise. <laughs> this is my pink Valentine's Day outfit. Y'all seen these pants a million times, just some gaucho pants I got from Trim Mall, top from Forever 21. This jacket, I think is from Trim Mall, so I'm almost positive this jacket's from Trim Mall. The tight. <laughs> then I got on my white Chanel sneakers. And then of course, I'm gonna be carrying my pink Chanel bags. I'm very much on brand, on theme. If it wasn't Valentine's Day, I would not be wearing this. <laughs> but I think it turned out cute. The Bulgari Serpent Watch. That's gorgeous. That's a statement. What is this one say? Oh, they're all serpent. Oh, it's a snake.
out in Shibuya. Yes, you're that right, Shibuya. Sh Sh Shibuya. So at night, this like looks like Vegas with all the billboards, the lights, the shops, all that. Slurped it up. Wow. So, in the same building as the Hedgehog Cafe, just like a few levels up. It's a board game cafe, and when you pay, you get a cocktail. So we're about to play a board game and drink. It's called Jelly Jelly Cafe, if anyone's wondering. Look at his beer. I thought that was my drink at first. I got a sweet Moscow mule. Good. That's good. <laughs> this is not on my bingo card for today, but I ain't mad at it. Cheers. Mm. Excuse me? Yes. How do you say cheers in Japanese? Hey, kanpai. Kanpai? Cheers. Go kanpai. 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 <laughs> Y'all, we're on like our fourth game. We've been here for, we've been here for an hour, you think? You think, you think an hour? The drinks are three dollars. This point, I'm on my third. Give you a point. Anyone, six point get is winner. So you just move it over yeah, for a point? Okay. Yes, please. We're gonna stop by LV. They definitely don't know me here. A hundred percent don't know me, but they can pull up my profile and see how much money I've spent. 这个是海洋清新的比较马上夏天。哦，这个是海洋清新的比较。哦，这个是海洋清新的比较。哦，这个是海洋清新的比较。哦，这个是海洋清新的比较。哦，这个是海洋清新的比较。哦，这个是海
And first of all, this is a gas station and the gas pumps are hanging. That is so cool. Ow. And those are the attendants. I've noticed the United States, we're so behind on everything. They're so ahead, like. But anyways, we're on a journey to find some food. It's around 6.30, maybe seven by now. Get our second little meal of the day. We're not having any luck with the places we've been to so far. We've been to two places. They said reservations only. It's a Thursday and y'all not even packed. Like, why can't we just wait? But that's one thing they don't do. They do only do reservations. In the States, at least y'all say, okay, well, it might be like a 45 minute wait or sit at the bar. They don't do that here. Reservation or no service. Found a random bar, y'all. Uh, it's one really beer. tiny. Yeah, Japanese beer. For me. And then maybe a, a sweet drink for her. Sweet drink. How about the grape juice? And alcohol? Uh, with alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Potato salad, maybe? It is the next day, so it's Friday morning. Um, we are at our new hotel, which is called Marriott Tokyo. This is the lobby. It's huge. I didn't do much vlogging yesterday at night just because, I don't know, I guess the jet lag is still messing with us. We went to bed at like 10 p.m. Yeah, so we're starting our day early. I've been up since 6 a.m. Um, we are about to go into Harajuku. That's the plan. Ooh, it's cold. It's only supposed to get up to 53 degrees today. Hello. This is what I'm wearing. Chanel beanie. Loewe glasses, Loewe tank, leather pants, my fur coat from Fashion Nova, my little $20 fur coat, choker from Amazon. Food truck. Look good. There's a Harajuku girl. Y'all can't see her. I'm just. So we made it super quick. It's still, I think it's still morning time. 11:44. We made it. <laughs> Socks, babe. Scrunchy socks, right? Oh, here they go, right here. Twenty-five. This whole store is like, you know, gumball machines. But it's an entire store. And I think it's different. No, there's another level down there. But it's just little stuff like this, little cute little figurines. My kid's too old for this, but. <coughs> oh, those are like old school video games. Oh, Rockman. I don't know, it's not. I've never heard of that. Hadouken. What? Which one do you like better? Probably this one. Less saucy. Yeah. It's a hot dog. There's no hot dog? There's no hot dog? No. <laughs> it's just cheese. Looks like a unicorn cream pie. <laughs> What do y'all think? Real or fake? That looks real. That looks real. I can't tell with these other ones. Ooh, I like that one. Cheers. <laughs> 
not as strong as ours. I have a Coke and a smile. <laughs> this has been an eating adventure so far. We've tried, what was that, two different kinds of like honey chicken or sweet, what kind of chicken was that? Sweet and sour chicken. Then we had the rainbow corn dog, which we got played because we thought it had an actual hot dog in the middle. But it's just mozzarella, colorful mozzarella with sugar on the outside. Then we had an amazing gyro from some place called Aladdin something. Now we're at a bubble tea place. So, yeah. They have this huge spiral french fry I want to try next. <laughs> and then maybe we'll be done. Okay, so these are the instructions on how to drink. Then you stir 18 times and then you'll be happy. Okay, let's see. This is the one we got. The one with the flame at the top. Those are really He said no, no filming. Yo, he put that sign up quick. <laughs> they got so many dog and cat cafes over here, y'all. I should try to just spin around and get them on camera, but I ain't gonna do that. We're about to do an otter thing. I don't know what it's called, but. This is what we have to wear because they said the otters will fuck your clothes up. That's terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god, why are they chasing me? <laughs> Whoa, I never felt anything like that. <laughs> he doesn't want to be held? <laughs> show y'all it's been a little while later we're at a temple as you can see but and it's so crazy because he's been doing the directions the whole time and I've been like oh you're doing so good you're doing so good I just knew something was gonna fuck up but as we're walking to it I'm like it's not in the city I've seen the pictures of it I'm like it's not in the city and he's like we're here and I'm like this is not Sensoji Temple. So he walked down <laughs> over here. Y'all, this is a fucking cemetery. It's a, over there, it's all the grave sites. I don't wanna, y'all know I'm weird about grave sites. I don't wanna get people's graves on camera and stuff. Um, anyway, <laughs> we commuted all this way to go to Sensoji Cemetery. Sensoji Temple is half an hour away. And it took us about 20, 25 minutes to get here, y'all. Oh my God. So the temple that I wanted to go to, Sensoji is S-E-N-S-O-J-I. What he typed in was S-E-N-S-O-H-J-I. Cemetery, oh God. A beer vending machine on the street. Let's see if it works. Here's the soda, coffee, tea, vending machine. That's beer. Those are juice. Oh, your beer. I 
got this one for you. Oh. Super cop. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Let's try it. Smell it. You're gonna love it. I am? Oh, I think I am gonna like this. Saki. Saki. Oh, Saki. I think oh. this is Saki. <laughs> Let's fucking go, super mm. cut. Tastes like it, right? Yeah. It's just ice cold. I've never had ice cold sake. Wow, that's so cool. You can get this one too. Does that mean 15% liquor and 30% liquor? Is that what that percentage means, you think? Probably. Because that's 70%. Those are 15 and 30%. That's got to be the alcohol percentage, I guess. Oh, okay, so that's 5%. Liquor store. We could, since we could drink on the street, we might, might as well get us a bottle. What is that? Japanese whiskey. Japanese whiskey. Ooh. To go. Don't mind if I do. Where's the Tito's? That's what I want to know. <laughs> where's the Tito's? Where's the Ciroc? Okay, here goes the American shit. Yeah, this is the American shit. Hendo. Wild turkey. This is what he like. Should I be adventurous and try something that I've never used to mix with my drink? Something like this. Water. Did I say milk water? Bitch, I know you lying. Uh, or should I keep it safe and do Del Monte Milch's a name brand that I know? So let's just do Fanta Orange. Is this soda? Yeah, orange soda. Or should I just, man? Eh. Fine. We'll just start with a shot. See what it's talking a about. Shot? Okay. Got a bottle of liquor, twelve, a twelve pack of cups, and a bottle of Fanta for less than ten dollars. He looked this up. It's it's kind of like whiskey and vodka mix, but it's a Japanese. Kampai. Kampai. We were so <laughs> fucking wrong. Kampai. Kampai. Ah! It's okay. That even fucking happen? Why are you acting like we just spilled oh our my God. child's head on the ground or something? Y'all know I overreact. <laughs> We're at a food hall, but it's like a bougie ass food. I thought this was a jewelry store when we first walked in. Here's a Godiva pastry store. Y'all ever seen Godiva? Well, that's chocolates, but a Godiva cake? I ain't seen one, have y'all? Maybe I'm just uncultured. I don't know. Is this somebody famous? Because they got the camera crew. Who is it? I don't know who it is. Maybe he's a chef. But yeah, we had these strawberries. We had these strawberries. They're special strawberries, y'all. Y'all think I'm playing? I ain't playing. They're special strawberries. We had these the first night at the Bagari Hotel. They gave us some. Oh my God. These ain't no H-E-B strawberries. I'm just trying to let y'all know. Oh, and they gave us these oranges too. At the Y'all, this melon, I don't know if it's a cantaloupe or honeydew melon. I don't know what's a, okay, it's a musk melon. So, 38,000, we's gonna round up to 39,000 yen. In USD, this is about a $250 piece of fruit. A $250 piece of fruit? What? Here's my section of fried food. Give me the fried food. Is that a fried egg? Oh, here we go, some tempura shrimp. That's, that's, my, that's my speed right there. They, they, these are the nicest, the nicest people ever. Oh my God. Thank you. Arigato. Y'all, when I tell you this is the nicest group of people that are from this country, like, oh my God, everybody has been so nice, so helpful, smiling, pleasant, nobody's had an attitude, like, it's just so nice. Because in the United States, people are bitches, they don't want to help you. It's just so nice, and it's so clean, and it's so, I love it here, I love it. Tokyo at night. 
right, y'all. It looks like Vegas almost, or New York. And this isn't even like they fly a street. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday. What happened last night? Nothing. We were in the bed asleep by 7 p.m. Our plan was to come back to the hotel room and to go out and experience the nightlife since we hadn't done that for the past two days. We took our nap at about 7.30. I had an alarm set for 11.30 and 11.45. Did we get up? No. Last night, after y'all saw us, and then this morning, we woke up at 7 a.m. And now it's, I think, 9 a.m. What time is it? Yeah, it's 9 a.m. So I've been up for two hours. Probably about to go downstairs, get some breakfast. Well, we're going to look and see what the breakfast looks like. I want some American breakfast. I want sausage, eggs, pancakes, biscuits. So I'm hoping my breakfast fits courtesy of Skim, Skim's jacket. Skims, Skims, and Marriott slippers. So we just got um, kicked out the restaurant. They said no slippers. And we both have slippers on. So we gotta go back up, put on some sneakers, and then go back down and eat. Okay, we're back. And we got sneakers on. But anyway, this is the breakfast by fire. Fruit. There was a juice bar over there. What are these? Dumplings, I think. Yep. Dumpling, dumpling. A steamed rice dumpling. Oh, that's fancy. Salad bar. Cheese and meat. Okay. Oh, are these donuts or cookies? Flour donuts. Okay. They got donuts in here. Croissants. Muffins, jellies, and peanut butter. Mm. Now here's the hot food over here. Y'all, I'm a little tipsy off of that one drink. Oh my God. Ooh. Okay. I don't know what this is. Don't know what that is. Some type of fish. A beef stew on it. Oh, they got waffles too? Oh, heck yeah. So, no traditional breakfast. I guess the United States are the only people where we're fat slobs and eat pancakes and syrup for breakfast, but yeah. So I got sausage. They call this bacon, but clearly it's just a slice of ham. Um, potatoes, salmon, spinach, croissant, yeah. Cappuccino. This is his plate, I don't know what that is. It look good, but, but it's very pretty in here. High ceilings, it's huge. Yeah, but anyway, y'all get it. Thank you. And their napkins, they don't have regular napkins. They're like semi-moist, and they're like a real cloth. So they're like, we had to make it. I was like, what's that drink over there? This is a, I think an iced latte, I think he said. Yeah, I think he said an iced latte. And you could tell they did the the steam, what is it, the torch on top. We're leaving. On to the next spot. We do a little outfit check. Let's see, I got a hat. Blue guitar shades. I think I got this jacket from from Fashion Nova, shoes, from... shoes, yeah. there you go, <laughs> shoes from Rick Owens, uh, Givenchy chain, yeah, now look at the Pikachu school bus, it's like a daycare bus, oh wow, oh, let's get in our taxi, one thing about it, Oh God, it's so clean. In their taxis, they have, their seat covers are white. All of the taxis have white seat covers. White, white, white. 
Okay, we just checked into our, this is called the Prince Sakura Hotel. It's so nice. It's so nice in here. So we're in the executive lounge. He's like a titanium member, so he gets like top tier everything with Marriott Hotels. So it's like free liquor, free food, free everything. It kind of reminds you of um, the airport lounge. And I'm gonna take a mat on. <laughs> it does, it smells so good in here. See if we're in the timeout corner. Welcome to our room. It's nice and spacious. Whoa! Why did my my phone literally feel straight in the trash can? <laughs> what the hell? This looks larger than the king. Why does that look so huge? Don't look bigger than the king bed. Thank you. Closet, slippers, their robe. Their robe. Bathroom. Oh, there are robes. So this is what is the Prince Sakura Tower, Tokyo. So they have different. These are this is the Prince Hotel, but we're in the Sakura Tower. They have different towers. So this is the lobby. We're part of the lobby of our hotel. Statue. Don't know where that leads to. Hell, maybe. A nice marble floors to one of the restaurants. That's the executive suite. And this is one of the restaurants outside. I'm just, we can go out here if we wanted to, but it has like a little stream around it. Y'all can't really see. I'll go out there once we get back. We're about to go. He's hungry. We're gonna get food and do a little adventure time. So I'm at the money exchange machine. I'm about to exchange a couple dollars. Uh, just if I want to buy like little trinkets, little whatever, a soda on our while we're out. Then we're gonna exchange a little bit. Exchange rate is terrible. When I tell you guys, awful, awful, terrible, awful and terrible. Maybe I'll just exchange forty dollars. You know. Oh, and y'all, they don't take tips here like restaurants and stuff there's no section for tips and then all of our bellhops who bring our luggage to our room they all said oh in japan we don't take tips we don't take tips yeah i don't take tips <laughs> i can you can always tell a place when they get paid good me i'd be like yeah we don't take tips here but i'm gonna slide this we're gonna act like we ain't see you know what i mean sure Amount deposited, payment amount. Wait, what? So let me show y'all. So I put in $40, and this is what I'm getting back in yen. So then you hit withdraw. My receipt. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. Bye. Is this a payphone? International card only domestic. What? I ain't never seen that before. That's a mail. Okay. All right. I think this is like the office or something. Yeah, because they got computers over there. Printer, fax machine, all that good stuff. Oh, and then a smoking area here. It's been really cold here. Like uh only highs in the 50s like the mid to high 50s okay so we just made it the plan is to go to the sensoji temple but it looks hella packed over there i mean it's just food everywhere it do smell good it's like a bakery So this is 
is like a market. They got food, trinkets, all kinds of stuff. So they have the sandals, the um, I don't know what these are called, but they're traditional wooden sandals. Wow. Oh, this is the mega platform. <laughs> That's cute. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Candy strawberry. Whoa. It's hot. I feel like I'm gonna break my veneer. <laughs> it's that hard. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so this is to dry your luck. If you're gonna have good luck or bad luck, drop in a hundred yen. Of course, because everything costs some money. Shake it, make sure you're at a number and put it back. Take out a sheet from the drawer of your number. When you draw a good fortune, take it home. But you should not be careless and arrogant. Of course not. Be humble. Draw a bad fortune, be tired. Drop it in, make sure your number. Shake the box politely a few times. Here. I think that matches. <laughs> yep. Number number 84. Bad fortune. No is the meaning of a way being obstructed safety. Ooh, it's loud. I messed up. It's okay. I got a bad fortune, but I did it wrong, so it really don't count. While you put the hundred yen in, you're supposed to be praying for a good fortune. Me, I'm trying to talk to the camera and didn't read the things fully. I wasn't playing. So I got a bad fortune. It's okay. I didn't even show y'all in the actual temple. So it's a lot of just things about like good fortune. You put your money in the well and then you make a wish and you, let me not say make a wish, you pray. Then the thing with the sticks I showed you, you put your money in and yeah. So this is the oldest Buddhist temple in Japan. That's why it's a huge attraction here. Their KFC. Y'all look at this. They got garlic pepper chicken. Look how good that looks. What else they got in there? Salsa chicken sandwiches. Try some. You do. Come on. <laughs> okay, I guess we're trying it. That garlic pepper chicken looks good. Sounds good. This is the KFC. Oh, that's a mini French fry. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's a tender. A chicken tender? A tempura chicken tender. Let's try this lemon, lemon garlic. What kind of wing is this? That's a big old wing. Got like three sections too. Let's go. Y'all, we just made it to the red light district. Just kidding. It's just an alleyway with a bunch of, like, these are little stop, stop. restaurants. Look at that. Tiny restaurants. Ooh. This is so cool. I don't, I don't think I can fit in one of these restaurants. <laughs> like, I'm huge and it's tiny.
was filmed here and he's a really big film buff so we were gonna go to the bar that they shot a scene in but that bar is closed for renovations until april of this year so we just went and sat by the pool you shouldn't have got that little bad luck thing at the temple damn he says because i got the bad luck thing in the temple <laughs> maybe that is it because we also we tried to make some reservate we tried to eat at some restaurants and they were like reservation only reservation only and we're like we can see 25 tables available it's empty in here and y'all talking about reservations but anyways so we just sat by the pool area poured up a cocktail and just looked at the same view thank you so we're on to the next spot this is a nice hotel very nice. We looked up the rooms here and it's like 2000 a night for the rooms. Tokyo expensive, okay? Our right, chariots, these are all the Ubers we've been riding in. They look like this with the white seats, the white. One thing we gonna do is find some of our music. We had a jazz cat. Let's go. We got some vibes. <laughs> あるということを知ってですね。えっと、なんていうか、なんか悲しくもあり、でもなんかすごい美しさを感じて、そんなことから書いてみた曲です。Teeter tottering like Bambi, these toes hurt, and the side of my pee hurts even worse. Do you understand me? Pure hell. And they started hurting probably halfway through the day. Oh my god, thank you for being at the room. Hey, um, good morning. Oh, my is about to die. We're eating breakfast at the hotel. 
We came down here 10 minutes before they closed. Yeah. But this is what I got. This is some quinoa and feta, smoked salmon with bread, potatoes, well, french fries, I guess, croissant, eggs, sausage, a little apple juice. Your girl is, is, is barely making it right now, y'all. Oh, I'm still so high up. But today's our last full day here. We leave tomorrow at, I think, 5 p.m. I gotta check, but the trip is winding down. It's so sad. Oh my God. It's almost time to go back to reality. Then I'm gonna be back jet lagged again. Over. They put me a beat. I said that my words and start looking to the kid and come drop like a father to be. Love when they all get up. Is it gay? Dad, is it all true? You Hey y'all, it is 4.45. We had a really just chill start to our day. Y'all saw we went downstairs, got breakfast, came back to the room, and literally just chilled. We were just watching TV. Um, I took me a little 45 minute to an hour nap. Chill vibes, like that's what it was. And we've been getting up and going every morning that we've been here, so it was just nice to you know, just a slow start to our morning. So now when we get out, it's probably the sun gonna be going down. So that's cool. <clears throat> so I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup. And yeah, well, first thing we'll do is probably find some food. But actually, first thing we might do is go to the cocktail hour in the hotel because when you have that executive pass, it's like something that he got with his member status or whatever. They have a cocktail hour from 5 to 7 p.m. So that starts in like 15 minutes. So hopefully we're down there. We should be. Because it's probably going to take me like 45 minutes to be ready. So that's it. We don't have nothing like planned planned today. Well, we ain't had nothing planned planned any day. We kind of were just looking stuff up and going by what we thought looked fun to do. But yeah, it just might be... Vibes. That's how we just gonna go out vibes today. Cause I think the only thing that I have left on my list that I would like to do before we leave, I want those fluffy pancakes. I wanted to do those go karts that you guys seen. They're like they call them Mario Kart, but they're like just go karts that you ride around the city at night. From what I've been seeing, you need to have made reservations in advance. And those aren't one of the things you can just walk up and say, "Hey, let me ride the go karts." No. Um, I wanted to do this thing called. My son had told me about it. I can't, it's called something lab. Something lab. Urgh. Joy lab? Maybe it's not, I don't think, wait. Joy, Joy, Joy lab might be wrong. Team labs, that's what it's called. I wanted to do team labs, but there were more negative TikToks about it than there are positive, which is so crazy. Byron went and said he liked it. And then I got on TikTok and started watching TikTok and I saw all these negative reviews about it. And those are like the top ones. I think it was only one positive one and then the rest were negative. I'm like, what the hell? So I don't know if I, I want to do that. And then a lot of people were saying um, they booked way in advance. And then they were saying to get the best out of your experience, you have to be part of the 9 a.m. group. Because a girl, she went twice. She was part of the 9 a.m. group. And then she went again, I think she said, at 10 a.m. And it was like hundreds of people where she couldn't even get any pictures and stuff. So anyway, so that's out the question. So that's really it. I kind of wanted to go by the Chanel store here just to see what they have, how different it is from the U.S. store. But I could do that tomorrow. That's really not a, you know, that's really not high on the list. Okay, that's it. That's all. See, I want to look like something. We're at cocktail hour, y'all. So I did switch my wig back to the straight wig. Loewe top, jeans, pink jacket. This outfit was not on my bingo card for this trip, but we threw this together real quick. Baby said put on something with color. That's what I'm doing because I was going to wear a whole tan outfit. Look at the setup. It's nice in here. These are mixers, this is liquor, I guess that's wine, liquor. My good sis Portia would be happy about that one. Okay. Oh, 
lot more wines over here. They do have cocktail food over there. It was a lot of people over there, so I didn't want to pull my camera out. But they have like cheese, crackers, meats, smoked salmon, salad, little, you know, stuff like that. You drinking dark? That dark make it walk. Cheers. No, what is it? Kampai. Kampani. Kampai. Kampai. Yeah, somebody. But cheers. He made my drink. Yeah, I don't know if y'all if I caught on camera me gagging at the first sip because they have a little thing of mixers, but it's just labeled non-alcoholic. Me, I already knew the red one was grenadine. He probably thought it was like a cranberry something. So he pulled like half grenadine, half liquor. Baby, when I tell you I almost passed out, that thickness hitting the back of my throat. Oh no. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. But anyway, um, I just sent him back upstairs to get my pink Loewe glasses. Do y'all think he's going to be able to find them? I said, I will get them. He was like, no, I'll go, I'll go. My pink Loewe glasses. I just don't think he's going to be able to, <laughs> to find them. But anyway, yeah, cheers. And y'all, love is blind. Love is Blind is back on. Do y'all know I just downloaded, I think the first six episodes are out. I downloaded the first six episodes to watch on the flight tomorrow. Scratch, we might not be leaving tomorrow, actually. We've actually been toying with the idea of leaving Tuesday instead of Monday. So the reason why is because Tuesday, we can get first class seats. If we leave tomorrow, they will be premium seats they're not first class y'all know when we came here we were in polaris first class with the bids so those are already all sold out but on tuesday they have a lot of seats he's calling me he's probably like which ones <laughs>
Well, we found the fluffy pancakes. Oh, wow. Fluffy ass pancake. Wow. Okay, that's what we got left. My opinion, out of ten, about a, they're good. They're they're about a six out of ten. If they were cooked a little bit longer, which I know they're supposed to be the fluffy jelly consistency, but they were cooked a little bit longer, and I had fruit with them to make the consistency in my mouth more thicker, I would probably give them maybe an eight out of ten. Flavor was really nice. I, I don't like that consistency in my mouth, so yeah. Erwin, this is the place, Pancake House. They do serve regular breakfast too. So we just took our shoes off to go to this restaurant. We put them in here and you close it and then you take the bar out and it locks it. All of these have shoes in them. How cool. This is the restaurant. It's a traditional restaurant where you sit on the ground. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh my god. We're supposed to sit with our knees. How do we sit on my big ass? Wait a minute. Oh, there's a hole down there. So your feet go in it. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that's nice. You got it? I can't get my leg. Okay. Okay, one leg is down. They gave us the little bitch one. Dang, it was the tiniest room. Okay, the other leg is down. This is so cool. Okay. So this is the seating, y'all. Your legs go in the hole. Table's right here. We're not even hungry right now. We just wanted to come experience this. We said we we're gonna order a cocktail, but that might not be how this works. Now you can't use your index finger. So then okay. you have to move your thumb up to balance it. So move your thumb up. Okay. So it's in line. So you're pushing down on the chopstick with their back of your thumb and against these two places. Now, your thumb, since it's close to this finger, can wedge into there. Now that you got the feeling of doing this, I just wanted you to feel that, but then you go down to your other finger, your wedding finger. Show me the wedding finger. Oh, so this, so your middle finger moves out the way? I think so. Now I'm kind of confusing myself. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, y'all, we made it back to the room, showered in our PJs all by midnight. Let me see what time it is. Well, we got here at midnight. It's 115 now. But uh, we have decided to stay an extra day. So we have a full day again tomorrow. So we're just about to um, look up some TikToks, plan our day for tomorrow, and then go to sleep. So today was really special with the photo shoot. That's why he wanted me to change into a bright outfit. So it made sense. I may have already said this earlier in the vlog. I can't remember. Our days are so long here. We do so much. There's so much that I can't even show y'all a lot of places don't want you to film you can't bring cameras in y'all we tried to go to a little peep show baby yeah we couldn't get in but just walking into the dungeon of the peep show and then you could see the girls walking by was crazy okay they had just closed like five minutes before but child they got like a whole kind of like red light district with the working girls with their signs out they're like you can pay for 60 minutes of conversation they're like, oh, you could drink liquor and you can pay for 60 minutes of conversation for 3,000 yen. So, 
it's yeah so they got some of everything for everybody out here but anyways you're just tired um like i said we're about to figure out what our day is it would be nice i know he wanted to go to uh, mount fuji but it's a three hour commute to get there i want to go to tokyo disneyland i think that's only about 20 minutes from here and i kind of want to go to chanel i need to buy a couple souvenirs yeah we'll see see you tomorrow morning happy monday <laughs> this is our last full day here our last full day for real okay <laughs> so i'm about to take a shower get ready for the day we're trying to we laid in bed for like i woke up at 7 30 he woke up at like nine so we um have been laying in bed just trying to figure out our day what we want to do it's supposed to rain a little bit it's kind of overcast outside so i don't know there was kind of a few things we wanted to do like outside but outside is not giving i don't know if y'all could see but it's wet but it's not supposed to rain all day today i am not giving no look no fashion no nothing today is all about comfort okay i brought my yeezys and i'm wearing my yeezys because in Tokyo, baby, you do a lot of walking. Please do not bring your most fashionable, cute shoes. Them designer shoes is not good on your your feet, okay? After a few hours, Chanel be feeling like they some $12 shoes, honestly. I ain't, yeah, so I'll be wearing my Yeezys today. He just went to go grab us some food. He ordered some DoorDash. We missed breakfast this morning. We was up, laying in bed, and missed got dog breakfast. It's all right. Um... We really want to go to Disney. We really want to go to Disney, but with this weather, I don't know. Fingers crossed, y'all. I really want to go to Disney. That would be so cool. Yeah, and then, of course, all the eating adventures. I mean, what's a trip without trying to eat at all the best little spots that you don't have back at home? So, that is our plan for the day. Let me go wash my ass, get myself together, and then figure out what's what. Hey y'all, this is the look. Got on a Gucci hat, a uh, cropped brown H&M jacket, cropped um, turtleneck uh, t-shirt from Pretty Little Thing, brown leggings, Gucci glove trotter bag, Gucci socks, and my Yeezys. So, cute, casual, and like I said, it's raining outside. So, we did very light makeup, really just barely flat iron my hair. It's a chill day. Well, that says out. We're thinking this is our restaurant. So there's little dividers in between. We share a table, but there's little dividers in between us. Different, kind of cool. And this is like a soba noodle restaurant. I'm excited because I love soba noodles now. So we just ordered one beer to share and she served it with this type of paste. And she said the way you do it is you take a pinch a little bit of the paste and you eat it and then you take a sip of your beer. You pinch the paste and then look at him ready to put it in my mouth. Is it sweet? It's like, it's like, like demi gloss or like miso paste or soy sauce jelly. It's good. So y'all it's raining we're not going to disney and it's supposed to just the weather's supposed to get worse so but the noodles are really good at this restaurant right here like extremely good we found it on eater.com if y'all are ever traveling eater.com just put in eater.com slash 
Houston, Texas, slash Tokyo, Brooklyn, wherever you go, and they'll have like really good restaurant reviews. But um, yeah, so I'm sad about not being able to go to Disney, but we're gonna just get a little shopping done. And that's probably really it. Ooh, I haven't seen this one yet. Thank you. Like to serve you Look at our cute little shots we're about to take. It says cocoa biscuit, so I'm gonna assume it's coconut. Ready? Oh, that's good. It's definitely less than a regular shot. The amount? Yeah. That was tasty. Let's take our other one. Or should we save it? Fuck it. Why don't we take one of the one out of the bottle now? See if you built built for this life. Oh god. Y'all, this was like two bucks. That shit ain't gonna be sweet. <laughs> Gentlemen first. It's twice alcohol. Yeah. With no flavor. It's a real shot. Man, it is raining for real. Man. It's good. Not bad. So these signs are in every bathroom and they're kind of funny because who is throwing a t-shirt in the toilet? Who is throwing a can of soda in the toilet? Is that a passport? Like, who is throwing that stuff in the toilet? And then no, do not squat. <laughs> these are so funny. And they're literally everywhere on the wall. The back wall. What is that? Some type of mist to uh, clean the toilet seat off because they don't have the disposable uh, covers. And then also, did you leave anything? Take all your stuff with you. The bathrooms are so nice. I mean, this is literally a train station bathroom. Spotless. I have not seen a dirty public bathroom yet. Every bathroom is so clean. No, no filming? Okay. It's called the Hollywood Beauty Plaza. I wonder if it's like plastic surgery. I don't know. It's not giving like makeup and fashions. It's giving surgery. So just to give y'all a little update of what's going on. We went to the mall. We were at the mall for probably about a good hour. We went to Chanel because that was on my list of things I wanted to do. I picked out some cute accessories that I really wanted. One of them, a scarf that matched perfectly with one of my Valentine's Day gifts. And go to check out and she's like, oh, where's your passport? And I'm like, passport for what? She's like, that's the only way you can get tax free. I'm like, okay, well I got my driver's license and a picture of my passport. No, we need your actual physical passport. Y'all, that is the first time that's ever happened to me. And y'all know I bought luxury items out the country before. But I guess every country is different, but that's so crazy. I said, well, what if I buy it with the tax? Can I get the tax back in the airport? And she said, no. She said, only in store. Our next stop is the Mori Art Museum. We're going to the Keep Herring exhibit. Smell like a streetcar in here. Stinks in here to me. Untitled Silver John, 1981 to 1983. Wow, and it's drawn in chalk. This is so cool. Most of, I did not know most of his stuff was drawn in chalk. Between 1980, 1985, chalk on paper. Oh, is that Jesus twerking on the cross? That's a, that's a twerk, because look at that. Lots of pregnant women. Okay, y'all, we're at the next exhibit. We're walking on seashells. Right? Are these 
clam. Mm -hmm. Seashell, is that the same thing? She's about to say, I'm not filming when I was just... This one you cannot take a picture. This is cool. Y'all listen. Chicago style pizza all the way in Tokyo. Is it Chicago style? Yeah, it is. It's really Chicago style pizza. And we saw a Tex Mex place. I'm like, I wonder how their Tex Mex tastes. We made it to our restaurant after a long journey. We made it, y'all. So we're at Marmo Pizza. It's a cute little, small little cozy spot. Real cute. Yeah. So this is the eater. It was on the eater list I was telling you guys about. So everybody's pizza next to us looks amazing. So and I'm fingers crossed that it tastes really good. Y'all know I'm not a big pizza eater. But this pizza looks special, okay? And I got me a, a, a drink too. Cheers. <laughs> These are our wood fire pizzas. And walnuts on a pizza. Who would have thought almonds, walnuts, and chicken on a pizza would taste good? <laughs> Although we've come to the end of the road. Y'all, last few hours, I'm packing. Checkout is in an hour and a half. And our flight is in like five hours. But I'm going to try to go to Chanel and get my tax-free items if I can. Then it's another restaurant we want to try, so... Yes, and our flight is delayed for an hour. So, yeah. Happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. A whole week in Tokyo, damn near. Yeah. And what's crazy is most trips, I usually be like ready to go. I tell y'all this all the time. Like, I be ready to go just to get back to, y'all know I need, I, I be in my groove of like working, getting content done, and I'm just like, you know, child, I don't want to leave. Like, I could spend another few more days here. That's how much I love it. Yeah, y'all need to come. But yeah, it's packing time. I made a... Look at this mess I made. And this looks better because... I've already started packing this bag. But just imagine, I have all this. All this. All that. Yeah, all this is mine. That's all. Oh, and we're not going to talk about the bathroom. So, it's probably going to take me about 30 minutes to pack. It might take me about like 40 minutes to pack. And then shower and get dressed. Trip is over. Nails come off. <laughs> I don't know why the last nail is always so hard to come off. There you go. Okay, y'all. Where's my other side? Okay. Are these dirty? Yes, they're dirty. Child, it's like you always packing, coming home. It's like it's no space, no room. Am I just missing a random spot? Plus, I'm coming home with a big old Chanel box. I could leave the, the box here, but. Oh, you like watching it or you like playing it? 
Let's do it. We need to find a little uh, game place in Houston, too. For the, uh, with board games. I bet we have something like this. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm like 99.9% .9 done packing. Only thing left for me to do is take a shower and put my airport outfit on, and I'll be done. That's it. That's all. But we got a little bit of liquor left. And who don't let liquor go to waste? Me. I. <laughs> Cheers, bitches. I'm about to make me a little drink. Oh, I already took the top off. Baby, you want to take a shot? You're not fine. Do you think I can mix these two together? Are they both? Yeah. Yeah? Y'all, this was so good. It's like, I showed you on the beginning of the vlog, but it's like vodka and whiskey mixed. How much you pay for this bottle? What? Did you say less than $10? Then I think he said this one was two. And they both good. One thing they have here that's cheap, all of their drinks we've noticed are very cheap. The liquor store and going to restaurants, liquor is very cheap here. You get like sake for a dollar. Like a big, like not big, but like a nice size bottle or jar of sake for a dollar. Hit you right there. All packed. This is the airport outfit. This shirt's from Dee Dee's. These are just some baggy sweatpants from PLT. My Yeezys that y'all can't see because the pants are so long right there. My Yeezys. And yeah, super comfortable for 14 hours of flight time. But we in first class, so I'm gonna be sleeping like a baby. If not the whole time, at least half the time. in the airport so of course I had to stop by a next door Chanel please tell me y'all have the right size well my hopes and dreams were just crushed they don't have the bracelet but they're going back to check on some furry sandals so fingers crossed for those but these are cute y'all know I love me a good old denim baby I love me a good old denim well, they didn't have my shoes either. So we're in line at Chanel. I really should check out Bulgari since we stayed at the hotel and just see how their jewelry is. And I've just never checked for them before. Y'all, them furry slides were so cute. I'm gonna go when I get home. Maybe I can look online. <laughs> that saving that tax is just what gets it, like, I don't know, saving the taxes. I see my face is getting skinny. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Appetite cut in half. We did a lot of walking. Face getting skinny. Y'all, so we're waiting on our gate to board, and I ain't never seen this before. They have a stand over there. Right there. Y'all can't see because of all the poles. Right there. That's a stand a lady is giving out free drinks, cookies, Kit Kats, Oreos, Snickers, all kind of stuff. Now, of course, some passengers don't get free meals, of course, you know. But to get that for free while you wait, that's kind of cool. I'm telling you, everybody here is so nice. It's so, like, pleasant going everywhere. Hey y'all, we are on our flight, back in our little cubicles. I'm ready to take my shoes off now and put my slippers on. And I did get my shoes off. Where are you 
you try this again? As a care craft type. For the appetizer or the entree? Um, for the entree, please. The entree, I'm gonna get the um the beef short rib. Okay, and as a backup. The roasted chicken. Yeah, thank you. They gave me a cute toiletry bag this time. Y'all know, coming here, it was gray. And now it's new. I could like be one of the Pilates girlies and wear it like strapped across my chest. Any Besties, I did it. I did it. I conquered my fear of going on a longer flight. I did it, y'all. I can't believe I was gonna let fear hold me back. Hold me back from traveling the world. All because I'm scared of being on an airplane for a long time. But guys, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Some of y'all won't understand. But for me, this is a big feat. Like, I really feel like I can go to Dubai, the Philippines, even Africa, y'all. Like, it was just amazing. Th this flight, this trip, oh my God, y'all. This was just so special. This was one for the books. I did not want to leave. If it is on your bucket list, guys, travel to Japan. It was amazing. The people, the food, the adventures. I wouldn't trade this for nothing. I'm just so happy and grateful to be have been able to experience this.